there is no money looking ahead. I mean, the, the huge debt hangs over the next government. Um, in individual personal indebtedness is massive in this country. What happens to leftish politics when there is no money left? Well, we can use the same attitude as was evident in the last genuine austerity government since uh, George Osborne wants to take us back to 1948, as back he posted this week, mm. and that is austerity that's got two characteristics. One, it is fair at every possible level, and the broadest backs bear the heaviest burden. They are doing the opposite at this moment. And secondly, that austerity is used as the basis for renewal and prosperity instead of being used as an excuse to but, cut but the that, state back to levels where it becomes rudimentary. But that means, that must mean tax rises. It must mean income tax rises, to, if, if you're talking about fairness properly, which would leave the it current Labour Party open mm. to exactly the same it, tax it, bombshell. It depends, the, oh, no, it depends, it depends who uh, is required to pay the additional tax. And of course what we've got is a country in which the top rate of tax on people over £150,000 a year has been cut from a 50% rate to a 45% rate. Now, I'm not saying they can pay for everything. But it should, uh, you, th you think it should go up? But bankers' bonuses, taxation, should be restored to the rational system that we had, and we should have a top rate of 50%. That is very clearly the Labour Party's uh, unerring policy. And when we say that we're going to balance the economy, balance the books... Let's do it in a rational way, which includes the sustaining and development of the civilized parts and the essential efficient parts of life, including education, including R&D, and not destroy in this bid right. to apply an ideology of reducing the state, our country to a very long period of extremely low growth. But, but higher taxes for the very rich. Oh, yes. 